Are you curious about the Bull Mastiff and English Bulldog and how they stack up against one another? Or are you toying with the idea of adding one of these breeds to your home? If so, coming up next is our head-to-head -head video between these two breeds. We're gonna break down everything to give you a clear picture. Welcome back to the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the English Bulldog. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect English Bulldog. So, if you're a lifelong English Bulldog lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new English Bulldog, then this is the channel for you. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a future English Bulldog video. So, let's dive into today's video and hop right into the appearances of these two breeds. The Bull Mastiff is a large, muscle-packed breed. They have dark eyes, high-set floppy ears, and a deep board muzzle. The breed most commonly comes in fawn with a black mask. The breed stands as tall as 27 inches and weighs up to 130 pounds. The English Bulldog, on the other hand, is smaller in stature. They can grow up to 16 inches tall and weigh up to 50 pounds. This is a popular breed that is really unique and has unforgettable features like its wide stance, big loose lips, short face and distinctive wrinkles. The English Bulldog has short coarse fur and they come in a variety of colours like solids, piebalds, fawns and brindle. When it comes to exercise, the Bull Mastiff is one of those breeds where it really comes down to the individual. Some breed members have a higher need for activity, while others are happy just to take up a spot on your couch. The Bulldog is more calm and content, just to take up residence in your lap. Though they enjoy a daily walk, it greatly benefits them as obesity is a major issue within this breed. When it comes to grooming, the Bull Mastiff is going to be less labour intensive. While both breeds have short fur that is easy to manage with a bristle brush, the English Bulldog needs more care than just a good brushing. They need their ears cleaned, their eyes inspected, wrinkles cleaned and well dried as part of their weekly grooming routine. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely three principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there again. There'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. As we go forward with the rest of the video, it will be on the assumption that the dog has been given proper socialisation and training from a young age. It will also be assumed that the dog is of the correct temperament and disposition for its breed. The English Bulldog is a docile one most of the time. They enjoy just hanging out with their families and displays incredible amounts of devotion towards them. They're also cuddlers, have a bit of a stubborn streak to them, forget how they're on the small side, and have some of the most amusing personalities. This breed is almost a natural choice to join a home with children. They love their kids to the point where they seem to feel responsible for them, and they always regard them with the patient mannerisms. They also do wonderfully with small animals, provided introductions were done well and you have some socialisation to back it all up. Other dogs can be questionable. Some will be fine with other dogs, but others not so much. Dog aggression and same-sex intolerance is no secret among the English Bulldog breed. The Bull Mastiff is really the best of both worlds. Having some of those Bulldog traits, like a calm demeanour, a stellar sense of humour, some stubbornness and total devotion to their families, as well as having a protective side. The Bull Mastiff just had the size and power to back up all of that need to protect. They can be cuddling from one minute and then transform into a warrior the next. Because of this, they require real devotion to socialisation. They also do stellar with children. And much like the English Bulldog, kids just bring out more of a patient side in this breed. Though they might do best with older children just because of their size. With small animals, the Bull Mastiff has a prey drive and they have been known to go after some animals with deadly intent. With a dedication to familiarising them with small animals and guiding them with your calm and consistent canine leader ways, you should be able to find a way to coexist with smaller, more fearful and flighty animals. 
The bull mastiff can also be iffy with other dogs, especially because some lines have been developed for heightening aggression. And it makes them untrustworthy and reliable in this area. But even outside of those lines, the breed can have same sex intolerance or even hostility towards the opposite gender. These breeds can be tough to train. The Bull Mastiff is easier by a small margin, but there's more wiggle room with the English Bulldog, as if something goes not according to plan, they're less of a liability. They both have a stubborn side and some independence, which can get in the way of your well-laid training plan. Though the Bull Mastiff is the more versatile, if you can crack the code and prove you are a calm and consistent canine leader. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated English Bulldog videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir English Bulldog Show.